Have you ever doubted yourself before? Maybe you thought that you weren't good enough, maybe you thought you couldn't handle it, you weren't qualified enough, you don't have enough, you aren't smart enough, good looking enough, something not enough, and you just doubt yourself? I know how that feels because I felt that same way too, and what I found, well, I wanna share that with you in this video. My name's Joe Moffi with Master Life by Design, and today's video is, do you doubt yourself like I do? And I wanna open up with this and just, you know, this video, my hope is that you see and hear my vulnerability uh, in my own personal life, but also how does that help you and how do you shift when you doubt yourself? Because look, I've doubted, the biggest doubt that showed up for me recently in my life is this channel. I doubt myself, can I really grow 100,000, a million subscribers? Can I really lead people? Can, do I have the answers for people? Am I able to give people what they need to break through, even though I've done it for a decade plus? <clears throat> and I remember over the last couple of weeks, I'm like, why am I doing this? I've seen you know, maybe a handful of subscribers over the last month or two. I, mean, I asked myself, you know, do I really have the content? Do I really know my niche? Do I really understand my niche's pain? Like, I started to doubt myself and doubt myself on the camera. Am I, am I, do I, do I capture people's attention? Do I communicate effectively? Do I show up like Mark Cuban, Gary Vaynerchuk, Tony Robbins? Like, do I speak and communicate in a way that's thrilling like them? And I, I find that, you know what, at times I don't, or at least I doubt myself, right? And we all have those moments of doubt, right? where you doubt if you're qualified, you doubt if you're good enough, if you can handle it, if you can make it happen, if this is a good investment, if you can make this investment happen, if you can talk to that beautiful girl or that handsome guy, right? We all have these moments of doubt. I question my doubt or myself and doubt myself around, you know, really building out the brand Master Life by Design and making it a global brand where people can actually master their life and create life by design for, you know, what they want in their life, whether you have no money or a ton of money, whether you're single, or you're married, whether you're, you lack confidence or you have a ton of confidence, whether you have, a, you don't have a specific skill or you've mastered a skill. We all have an area of our life where we have not mastered, where we wish there was more, and we all have a life that we want to create that's even more than where we are, right? <clears throat> Because I don't believe that you're just supposed to sit here and settle for what you have. Because as soon as you settle, it's like the law of the universe uh, or law of nature, right? Like you're either growing or you're dying. Whenever you settle, that's when you start to die. As soon as you make that decision. And so for many of us, we doubt ourselves and we never really pursue something greater. And so we stay where we are. And we wonder why this person has this great relationship or this person has, you know, a deeper connection with God or this person has, you know, certain toys or this person has a great, you know, great friendships and deep friendships. It's like we doubt ourselves so much. I have so many clients or so, all these high performing entrepreneurs, they doubt themselves in some way, shape or form in some area of their life. Maybe not the arena where they're a master in, but if they step into someone else's arena where the other person's a master, they and they're not, they doubt themselves. We all have that moment of self-doubt. All right, sometimes I doubt, am I raising my boys properly? Sometimes I doubt if I'm giving my wife everything that she needs. Sometimes I doubt, uh, um, can I serve my clients above and beyond their expectations? That doesn't mean, those self-doubts, those don't mean that they're true or that they're facts. So you have to be aware that these moments come up for all of us. It's just how our brains program for fear that self-doubt is for self-preservation, even though there's no you know wild animal trying to kill us, right? Like back in the day, caveman days, right? And so we all have those moments of self-doubt. It's do you believe those self-doubts or not? It's your choice. You get to pick the path of yes, I believe them or no, I don't. And both lead to a different destination, a different life by design. And I want you to know if your life goes in the wrong direction, that's life by design because it's your choices that are making you go down that path. Most people are afraid to take responsibility for themselves and their actions. And most of all, their actions come from their choices and their choices come from their way of thinking, their beliefs. And so if you don't take responsibility for the way you think, then you're going to neglect if you're going down the wrong path and always blame someone or something else, right? 
versus taking responsibility for how you think and your behaviors, your choices, your actions, and your results. So we are always in control. And, you know, I made a post the other day about manifesting and <clears throat> you can't manifest when you're on defense. And one of my friends, Novalina, she said, yes, you can manifest when you're playing defense, just not what you want. And I said, yes, you're right, because you don't manifest what you want when you're playing defense, only when you're playing offense. But if you're playing defense, you're manifesting what you don't want. So you are in the process of manifesting. So are you manifesting? Are you creating the life that you want and life by design? Or are you allowing the self-doubt to like pull you in a direction you don't even want to go? I doubt myself every day. I want you to hear me clearly. I think I have an incredible marriage. I believe I raised my boys right, you know, loving God, loving their family, behaving, having manners, all of that, being respectful. You know, they're three and 10 months old, so it's a little hard at this stage, but my three-year-old's getting it. So I believe I have a great marriage. I believe I'm raising my boys right. I believe that I have a great connection with God. I believe I create deep friendships with people and I help people. I believe I make an impact for my clients. I believe I do well with my uh, my investments. I believe I call, I do good in giving, you know, what God calls us to do. I believe I, I, I'm disciplined, a hard worker. I believe all those things, yet I still doubt myself. But the difference is, here's the key. And if you watch me up to this point, I want you to get this. And if you're taking notes, write this down. The difference between what I see high performers and people who are not high performers, the difference between them, the ones that make themselves successful versus the ones who fall short and are not as successful as they want to be, is they don't allow the self-doubt to manifest into something bigger. They stop. It's like if you were driving down a road, if you were driving down a road and you had to make a right hand turn, but you realize you made a right into a dead end. You were a street early than where you were supposed to turn. And you saw that dead end. The unsuccessful person drives to the end of it and says, oh shoot. The successful person looks and says, they start to make the right, they're like, oh, this is a dead end. And they go back on the other path, they back up and they go on the path to the proper street. So do you allow it to manifest grow? Like, you know, to feed it? Do you feed it? The successful people, they stop immediately. They cut that self-doubt off and they continue to move forward, even into the unknown. And when they do that, and this is where I think I've been pretty good in my own life, when you do that, when I've done that, the things that I doubted myself, I proved to myself that I am worthy, I am capable, I am doing it right, or I am doing my best. And that's when it unlocks this unbelievable courage. It unlocks this confidence within yourself. It unlocks this gift that you didn't even know was there. And so the successful people, they don't allow that self-doubt to become their entire identity. It, they, they look at it as a speed bump on their journey. And they don't just sit on top of the speed bump. They keep going, right? They go past it. They have the bump and they keep going. That moment of doubt lasts minutes or seconds. Where most people, it lasts months and even seasons. And that's the difference between the successful and the unsuccessful. Is even though they have self-doubt, like myself, I have self-doubt too. So if you're wondering, if you don't know me and you're following me, you're like, man, Joe, you, your life seems like it's together. You, you know, it seems like you got it all. That's not true. I want you to be real. I want to be real. I don't like to post my highlight reel. I want to keep it real with you. And that's not true. I have problems. I have challenges. This is probably one of the hardest seasons of my life right now. Not just with raising kids, building a business, but family, health issues, all of that. I don't say that for sympathy. I don't want that energy. I say this because I want to give you an example of even when someone's going through some of the most challenging times of their life, how do they show up? Do they allow to, to go soft? And to get weak mentally, emotionally, physically? Or do they step up and take responsibility? So my hope for you today is to say, here's a living example of someone that's going through a hard season in life, but does not give up and does not buy into the self-doubt. It does not keep feeding the doubt, but he keeps feeding the faith. 
And that's my goal is every day. Like for me, I have to lean on God, even on my best days and on my worst days, I lean on God. Like I realize when I'm in the lowest of lows in life, you know, with the challenges that are rising, like I look to God for me, that's, that's my personal preference. And then even on my best days, I give God the credit and I look to him because he's my strength. Well, I don't know what it is for you, but I have to lean on my faith and not keep feeding the fear and the self doubt. So the successful, they don't go down that path. They don't live there. They may visit for a second or two, but then they go down the, the next path. They go down the proper path of self-confidence, of faith, and they go through it. What are you doing? I believe that you're called. I believe God's got your back. I believe God wants you to succeed. I believe God has placed these things in your heart. And so if you're going to go down that path of creating your life by design, that means you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone. That means you're going to have to go to that next level. You got to have faith. You're going to doubt yourself. It's like I tell my clients all the time. If you go on a road trip and you look at the map before you leave and you're like, oh, in an hour from here, there's a big roadblock and it looks like there's a 32 minute delay. Well, if you drive down the path and you get to that delayed point where the roadblock is, you're not going to be like, you're not going to flip out. Gosh, why is this always happening? Are you kidding me? This is putting me off. I'm going home. Forget this trip. No, you're just like, cool. I knew it was coming. So if you know the self-doubt's gonna come, you don't have to buy into it. You just recognize that you be aware of it and you keep moving forward. My hope for you is that you keep moving forward in faith and not fear. Because when you do that, that one step turns into, well, it turns into a yard, then turns into a mile, and then it turns into an entire state. And then you cross the country. You have your breakthrough over time. Success is not just a leap from the bottom step to the top. Success is can you step one step at a time? And some of us are overachievers. We take two or three steps at a time, but we're taking a step each and every single day. You need to do that even when self-doubt shows up. The scariest things may have the biggest rewards for you. So... I want you to know I have self-doubt. I know you have self-doubt. I've never met anyone that doesn't have self-doubt. The ones that says, oh, I don't have doubt. That's not true. They have doubt, but then they dismiss it like that. The quicker you can dismiss doubt and that self-doubt, the more successful you'll be in all areas of your life, your relationships, your health, your finances, your family, your friends, your community, your contribution. We all have it. How long do you feed it or lack thereof? That's the difference between those that are successful and unsuccessful, the high performers and the non-high performers. So I hope this video helps. I hope it speaks life into you because you are called for great things. God wouldn't put those things on your heart if he didn't believe that you could accomplish them. And most of all, if you lean on him, man, geez, well, guess what? All things are possible, all right? But you gotta do your part. You gotta take each step despite the fear, despite the self-doubt. So with that, hope you guys found value. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Hit that comment below. Let me know what you think. Tell me, do you have self-doubt? What is your biggest one, most common one? Is it I'm not good enough? I'm not good looking enough? I'm not skilled enough? I don't have enough money? I don't have the right partner? What is it? I don't have the business? Tell me what it is. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button and the notification right next to it so that you can get notified when these videos come out. And I really hope today speaks some life into you. And I want you to know I'm always here to keep it real and not always share, share with you my highlight reel. So with that, go out, make today count. Have a great one. See you guys.